making the first carbon fiber Thor hammer handle and the resin is coming to the top using a vacuum pump resin system. Up oh, there it comes. You see it kind of bubbling at the top. Circling it through that, through the tube, and just works its way all the way up. Here it comes. And then it would go down. Obviously, I'm going to let this kind of sit. If there are any air bubbles, I want to. Wow, I didn't even use all that. It's only 350 grams. But I used two, a two, two foot wide roll at 19 inches long into that little inch and a quarter tube. So they didn't really take on that much resin. But I'm going to think I'm going to clamp this off before it keeps crawling down. These are the molds, the strike plates, and each one of these I'm putting nine layers of Kevlar carbon fiber on each one. And the sides and walls will get the uh, carbon fiber 12K mat. Ah, there we go. Look at that. That's what I like. Oh, yeah. Right up into it. I do not know if this is going to take a full quart. It may take less, it may take more. But when it finally does come up to the top here, right there, I'll know how much I need to use for this system. Lucky, lucky. It took almost more, a little more than two quarts. But there it comes. And I think I need another vacuum. This one's starting to smoke. That can't be right. It doesn't feel too hot. So I'm gonna let it cool. But basically that's what I'm getting. It's starting to come through, finally. God, man, this took so long. I'm like gonna let those air bubbles come through for a little bit. But it's starting to pull, finally. So, uh, just progress report. I had to flip it on the end. I filled up that port, and then the pump started overheating. So I flipped it up to where the handle comes up, and now it's just been pumping through. I have gone through two and a half quarts. Half of one of those was for the handle. 
and I found a small emergency packet of resin I mixed up real quick. And it's, it's moist in there, I checked it. This is where the handle slot comes through. The handle sticks up. And I am just hoping and praying that that will be enough to pull uh, the rest up through. We'll see. Alright, so I got it all closed up, or I had it all closed up, inside of a little room here. I have a heater going so it stays pretty warm. This guy is hot. Uh, huh. Obviously because of the, the the resin is kicking off. I thought it was, wow, this is really warm. Yeah. This bag is like almost sweaty. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I think I'm gonna open this bag up so it doesn't sweat too much in here, but it's it's taped. I don't like it. Is that a word? Huh. Who knows who cares? Alright, so it, it cured up last night and uh, I'm gonna disassemble this sucker to see what happened. It weighs uh, 14 pounds with mold on it. Look at that. Perfect. You can just reuse it. No problem. The other side. Well, it certainly weighs. This looks good. And there it is. Yeah, it will need a little cleanup work. And this is a first rendition. So there will be bugs to work out on the next one. Uh, but it looks like the resin for probably about 95% of it, aside from that little guy and a few little other areas, flowed in really well. Uh, I'm quite pleased with this. The details came out right. So let's see the weight. I'm hoping for a little amount. Ah, 9.8. Nine pounds, 3.5 ounces. Okay, that's not bad. Because I put two huge strips of foam in there, uh, two inch by eight inch, and compressed them down. And it still took nearly three quarts of resin to fill this sucker. So there you have it. I'm going to clean it up and uh, show it off. Seeing how many. Uh, tons this thing can withstand. Have it here under the. This is a 50 ton shot press. So let's see what happens. There you go. I hear some creaking. Okay, so. Kind of creaking, and we are at 2,000, uh, 1,000. So it is surviving five tons of pressure. Anybody out there think they can uh, have a five-ton strike force? I don't think so. I hear a little bit of creaking. I'm not going to go any further. I think five tons is good enough for me. That's 10,000 pounds, everybody. Somewhere in that range. Huh.